Edmund off to a good start. 355 with the batting average. OPS over 1100. The 2 2. Edmund puts it in play. Slowly hit. Chisholm throws it away. So now Paul Goldschmidt. And while Goldie's hitting 176, he's tied for eighth in hard hit percentage. Edmund off a of second base. Three balls, two strikes once again. And a little bit too far outside. So. The single an error and then the walk and the Cardinals have two on to start the night and the cards have two on nobody out for Tyler O'Neill the left fielder 2-2 two -two pitch lifted out to right field sends Garcia back he'll have plenty of room to make the catch loads up fires toward third Edmund tags no play over there and it's first and third for St. Louis so the infield is a double play depth with runners at first and third and Arenado up. 3-2 pitch runner goes from first a swing and a miss strike three no throw by stalling that will bring up Corey Dickerson Dickerson has bounced around in his career sends a fly ball slicing near the sidewall and the catch is made by Jorge Soler so the Cardinals will strand a pair after getting the first two on Jorge Soler ready to lead things off here's the one two and a swing and a miss and a strikeout for Michaelis. Right hander facing right hander. The next one from Michaelis. Cooper grounds it to third. Arenado, a little easier play than last night, throws across to Goldschmidt. Jesus Sanchez does a nice job for the Marlins in center field, batting third tonight. Michaelis, the two strike pitch, and Sanchez bounces it off the pitcher's glove, rolls out to Edmund at second. He rushes to first, and Sanchez is out. 1 4 3 on the inning ending ground ball. Marlins go quickly and quietly against Michaelis. Sandy Alcantara gets the ball tonight against the team that signed him back in 2013. And if you talk with some Cardinals people that are around the club, it's a little bit of a sense, T. Hut, of the one that got away in Sandy. The 3 2 pitch. Strike three called. And that's, that's a what call we were waiting for. <laughs> 1 2 swing and a miss. He blew that one past Arenado at 98 miles per hour for Sandy. Strikeout number three in the ballgame. 0 2 to DeYoung. A swing and a miss. Sandy's got another strikeout, his fourth. Michaelis was outstanding in his last start on this trip. It was Friday against the Brewers. He went six and two thirds, and that wound up being a 10 1 St. Louis win. He's at third now, two down. It'll be a one two pitch to Solaire. Breaking ball in there for strike three called. He dropped the big curve on Solaire, and Michaelis leaves Jazz at third base. A two two, Cooper takes strike three called. He thought it might have been a little bit outside. He's got some words for Tom Hallian, but Coop is the third Michaelis strikeout victim in the ballgame. Infield sets up looking for two. The 0 2 pitch, swing and a miss. Down on strikes, a fastball 94. Counts full to Chisholm, a swing and a miss. Came up empty on a slider. Strikeout number five for Michaelis. Two outs here in the fifth inning. Michaelis tonight, three hits allowed. He struck out five, hit a man, and has not allowed a walk. One and two on Cooper, and there's a ball looped into right, a base hit. Played on a hop by Lars Newtbar. So we have a pitching change. Oliver Marmol goes to the pen. Sometimes the highest leverage inning is on the sixth, is in the sixth inning, in the fifth inning. It's not always in the, the sixth, eighth or the ninth. seventh. You know yeah. that's a, and so, I think that's why they're going to Andre Palante right here. The two-two pitch, short lead at first by Cooper. Here it comes. Got him. Oh. Not going to do much with that. So one out and the runner at first, and now Jesus Aguilar. The three-two pitch. Palante comes back and gets a strikeout. Started 3 0 and then three consecutive strikes. And back to back K's for Andre Palante. Now Garcia trying to extend the inning here. A lead single this inning for Garrett Cooper. And that chased Miles Michaelis from the game. Palante has struck out Sanchez and Aguilar. With two outs, the one strike pitch. Grounded to third. That means there's an out. The throw goes to second by Arenado. To Tommy Edmond getting the out on Cooper coming down to second base. Nice job for the rookie Palante. Arenado hitless, three strikeouts over three tonight. Arenado hits it out to deep left. It's at the wall, and it is gone. A home run. Arenado with one swing puts St. Louis on top here in the ninth. A two run homer 
fifth of the year. Soler almost brought it back in. Instead, 2 nothing St. Louis. I'll tell you what, his at bats changed around when he took that fastball way inside off Alcantara. Look at kind of woke him up today. How close. Oh, it hit the, hit glove, the glove and then and hit, hit the, the top of the wall. <laughs> I wonder if that aided it to going over the wall. And the Marlins down to their last breath tonight. So their last chance is Miguel Rojas, one for three tonight. One and oh on Miguel Rojas with two on and two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Gallegos pitches. Rojas swings, ground ball to third. Arenado throws to second for a Redbird winner. Anderson is out, 5 4 coming down to second base. And this ball game has come to an end. The Cardinals shut out the Marlins tonight, 2 0, and will go for a three game sweep in the series tomorrow night behind Jordan Hicks.